I'm Molly Brooks, the CEO and founder of Heroes Bridge, and I just wanted to speak to the council and the community tonight. Um, there is no project in front of you, as you guys all are well aware. We're still in feasibility, still gathering feedback from neighbors and community members, trying to make it the best, most solid project that we can. I do want to answer, taking out some of the emotion about the veteran issue, um, as the daughter of a Marine, um, I respect their right to raise issues about veterans. Um, I, I just, I feel they must make Marines different than they used to in my father's day. And um, people will answer to a higher power than me when they talk that way about veterans. But I can give you guys some hard facts. There's a two to three year wait list for every affordable senior housing project in our county. Mintonbrook was built only a few years ago in Bealton. It's already full and has a 25-person wait list for one bedrooms and another 25-person wait list for two bedrooms. This is a senior housing project for seniors that happen to be veterans. They're 65 and older. They couldn't hurt someone if they wanted to. We have an all-female staff of seven that have worked with these aging veterans in the community at the street level for seven years, and there has never been a single incident of harm. Um, there's no evidence that projects like this lower property values. That's not how appraisals and property values work. People will not compare your single family home to a rental unit, a senior duplex. It just doesn't work that way. They're not tiny homes, they're duplexes. Um, I've heard a lot, why can't you just partner with the assisted livings or the polar center that's being built at Vent Hill? It's not the same thing. Those are assisted livings that cost $3,000 to $8,000, and they're for people that need help with activities of daily living. These are apartments for seniors that just need an affordable apartment. Um, can't you build it somewhere else? You guys know better than me. Most of you helped write the 2040 plan the county tells us we cannot build in the county because that's one of the things I hear the most often is why can't you build it where there's all this open land? The county comprehensive plan says it must go in the service districts. Most of the service districts don't have the water and infrastructure that would be needed for a project like this. Um, so it would be very disheartening for the community to hear the town say that we also can't build it within the town. So um, it'll be a few weeks before the project hits the planning commission or the planning staff, and we will be working closely with them to make it the most solid project and it be an asset to the community. And I welcome any of the community members, many of them who have been offered private meetings to hear about the project and they won't meet with us. Um, I offer that. We're here and also anyone else in the community that wants to learn more is welcome to reach out. Thank you, Ms. Brooks.